Welcome to all of you on the channel Math with Munir. I hope that you all are doing great and watching my videos. So finally today we are going to start and we are going to learn a final topic of transformation which is about enlargement. I hope that you have watched my all previous three videos that were related to about uh, reflection, rotation and translation. And in today's video we are not only going to talk about uh, the transformation fourth part which is about enlargement but we are also going to talk about and discuss in detail that are related to the sub parts that are related to the enlargement which are congruency and similarity. So first of all let us understand about what does it mean by congruent figures and similar figures. So two f in, in, in a general terms in a general way two geometrical shapes or two figures uh, are said to be congruent figures if there are if their corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding sides sides are also congruent now what does it mean by congruent that two the corresponding sides are congruent and the corresponding angles are also congruent it means congruent means equals so two figures are said to be congruent figures if their corresponding angles are equal and also their corresponding lengths are equal. So I am trying to draw two figures over here in front of you. Let us say that this is a triangle A, B, C and I am drawing another triangle P, Q, R. So I am trying my best to draw them exactly. So there is another triangle P, Q, R. Now these two triangles are said to be congruent if their corresponding angles. What does mean by corresponding angles? It means that angle A is equals to angle P and angle B is equals to angle Q and also angle C is equals to angles R. They are also. If all these three angles and also the corresponding sides A, B is equals to P, Q, A, C is equals to P, R and B, C equals to Q, R then these two triangles are said to be congruent triangles. Now the other definition of a congruent triangle is that once you try to overlap this picture to this picture, once you try to flip it over over here, you will be seeing that these two triangles are completely overlapping each other. So it means that these two triangles are said to be congruent. Now if we were be having this triangle PQR instead of this way like this okay then whether these two triangles are still congruent once we are having the triangle this is let's say p q r if we are having them in this way then these two triangle a b c and p q r are also congruent then what we will be doing we will simply try to flip this triangle p q r on this a b c and we will be seeing that they these two triangles are overlapping completely so yes these two triangles are congruent triangle okay so what about uh, similar triangles now if we are having the triangle pqr of this size p q r of this size then we can't say that these two triangles are congruent because we can see completely okay might be angle a is congruent to angle b uh, and ang angle b is congruent to angle q and angle c congruent to angle r but completely the all the lengths of these three triangles are completely different. AB does not have the same length as PQ and also AC and PR are also not equal, BC and QR are also not equal. So these two triangles are similar triangle but not congruent. Okay? So two triangles are said to be similar triangles when the corresponding angles may be equal but corresponding size are not a corresponding lengths are not equal. So what we are going to do now, I hope you now have a basic understanding of uh, congruent figures and similar figures. Now we are going to learn complete uh, quickly a uh, one question related to both the uh, topic congruent and similarity and then we will be learning about enlargement. So let us say that we have a triangle, right angle triangle A, B, C where this angle is your 90 degree and this angle is basically your y degree and let's say we have another triangle pqr p 
q r i am i am drawing these two triangle not to the scale so be sure that um, i am in once i am saying that these two triangles are congruent so it means that their corresponding angles and their corresponding lengths are also equal so they might not be looking uh, similar or they might not be looking congruent to you but you have to consider them since i am taking them a random lens okay now again this angle q is your 90 degree and this is going to be your 35 okay let's say this is your x not 90 so let's say this is your x and this is your z what we have to do now we have to use the concept of congruent figures and we need to find out the angles x y z so we learned that in congruent figures the corresponding angles are equal so the angle b and angle x they both are congruent so we can say that x is going to be 90 degree okay now how would we know that you have to overlap this picture to this now this y and this 35 they both are corresponding to each other so it means that this angle is also going to be 35 degree how about uh, this angle z how about this angle z now we know the rule that the sum of all the angles in a triangle is basically your 180 degree so if we want to find out z what we have to do z is going to be 180 degree minus 90 degree and minus 35 okay so that is going to give you 180 minus 90 is going to give you 90 and 90 minus 35 is going to give you 55 degree so that's what we found that the x y and z are basically 90 35 and 55 degree respectively so that's what the question was about how to use the congruent figures now if you are having the, the sides over here we have discussed about the uh, angles so if you are having these sides so you can also find them out okay now let's solve quickly a question related to similar figures and then we will be seeing that how these two are basically related to the topic of uh, enlargement so i am drawing two triangles okay these are the two triangles uh, a b c a b c the length of this side is 10 centimeter that is your 12 centimeter and this is 18 centimeter and we are having another triangle this is your p q and r now p r is y centimeter p q is 6 centimeter and q r is basically your x centimeter now what do we have to do now we have to use the concept first of all you need to identify that whether these two triangles are congruent triangles or similar triangles now we can see completely clearly that these two triangles are similar triangle why because their lengths are not equal so they, they are not going to be congruent triangle now we, by using the concept of a similar triangle we have to find out the values of uh, x and y so how can we do do that so if two triangles are similar triangle then their corresponding ratios are equal then their corresponding ratios are equal okay so if i wanted to find out the value of y first so what i am going to do now i will be taking the ratio of ac to pr so ac let's take the length directly how much the length of ac is 18 centimeter over y centimeter now you you can't corresponding sides we know that the side ac correspond to pr so corresponding ratios corresponding ratio of corresponding sides are going to be equal so ac is 18 centimeter and pr is y centimeter that would be equals to, to to the ratio of 10 centimeter over 6 centimeter now there is one key point that you must have to remember while solving these questions so if if on this side you are taking uh, on denominator the bigger so in these two triangle if you are keeping on denominator the bigger length then while taking the other side or while taking the ratio of the other side you have to make sure that the bigger length is coming on denominator right so 18 over y because these two lengths are corresponding their ratio is going to be equals to 10 over 6 so by using this simple math we can find out the value of x 
so 18 times 6 over 10 will be equals to y so 18 times 6 uh, okay let's simplify this 5 and 3 so 18 times 3 is going to give you 54 so 54 over 5 that would be y so once you simplify that it's going to be uh, uh, 10.8 so we can write the value of y over here as 10.8 centimeter now how to find out the value of x over here now okay so we will be using the same concept we will be using the same concept by taking the ratios of corresponding sides since 10 and 6 these two ratios are given of the corresponding uh, triangle so i will be taking 10 over 6 and now i have to find out the value of x so that's why i am involving 12 over x so that would be equals to 12 over x okay now simplify this x will be equals to 12 times 6 over 10 12 times 6 is going to give you uh, 72 and 72 over 10 will be equals to 7.2 centimeter so these are the values of x and y that we have got by using the concept of similar figures okay now let's understand and let's read this question with me what it is about enlargement and we will be solving this question very easily now so the question says in the figure p dash q dash r dash s dash is an enlargement of p q r s so basically this figure p dash q dash r dash s dash is an enlargement of this enlargement means that this is the bigger of this triangle this uh, quadrilater with a scale factor of k with the scale factor of k now given that p q is 8 centimeter and p dash q dash is 16 centimeter find out the value of k like i said earlier if two trying if two figures not triangle so if two figures are similar figures so their corresponding lengths or their corresponding sides are basically um, um, the, their corresponding sides are increasing with the similar ratio so if this side and this side we know that q r q dash r dash is an enlargement of q r so whatever this length is increased by this it's going to have the same effect over here and over here and over here this is called scale factor this is called scale factor so how we are going to do that okay first of all we need to find that how much scale factor k is how much scale factor k is so we can see that p dash q dash is given and also p q is given so i am going to take these two sides 16 over 8 16 over 8 that is basically your k so k it will be equals to 2 centimeter so if you take the ratio of any two sides that are being given to you so you will be getting that 2 centimeter so it means that every length of this quadrilater is increased to by 2 centimeter than this quadrilater okay k is 2 centimeter so that's what we got over here now the second part it says given that q r is 4 centimeter and s dash r dash is 14 centimeter now find q dash r dash and s r s r so since it's very easy since we know that every side of this quadrilater is increased by this by 2 centimeter so if we want to find out q dash r dash where does it is q dash r dash okay it's given that q r is 4 centimeter so that is going to be your 8 centimeter now s r s r okay s dash r dash is 14 centimeter so divided by 2 you are going to get this as 7 centimeter so this is how basically we are using the concept of enlargement where scale factor is very important so if you are able to get how much scale factor uh, is then you can simply find the corresponding sides very easily remember that how we are going to get the scale factor divide the corresponding lengths which you are having of two geometrical figures by dividing them you are going to get scale factor very easily if this side and these two sides were were given so by dividing 14 divided by 7 we are also getting the scale factor of 2 if we will be having these two lengths we divide them and you will be getting the scale factor of 2 so it depends whatever two corresponding lengths you are having take the ratio of those length 
and you will be getting scale factor very easily so i hope that the topic transformation which we have learned uh, in my previous three videos and this video are going to help you a lot so there is still a lot more that needs to be covered in these four topic related to translation reflection rotation and enlargement and i will try my best to cover them the cover the more material related to these four topics in my coming video so please keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe and share this video and my channel link to as much as friends you can so that it could help and raise to maximum student